Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming part two of products I've used up. So basically I'm going to be talking about products that I have used all of in the last couple of months. If you are new to my channel, I do have episode one, which I will link in the description of this video where I talk about some other products that I've used up before. So I've been collecting trash. I can't wait to throw it all out. So if you're interested in hearing what products I have used up then you're in the right place at the right time be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it because I have a lot of products to talk about. I am actually gonna do this sort of in two different sections. I am going to talk about all of the products that I've already mentioned in my first video where I talk about products I've used up because I've already talked about them and then I'm gonna show you some of the new products that I've added to my trash pile of things that I've used up. So first, products that I've already mentioned in my other video but I have gone through a boatload of makeup wipes. I've gone through through three of the Cetaphil um, makeup removing wipes. These are the Gentle Skin Cleansing Cloths for dry and sensitive skin. I've probably gone through more than just three packs of these because I use them every single day. I would highly recommend them to those of you that have very sensitive skin. So I've used up these. And then I've also used up two packs of these guys here. These are the Collagen Makeup Cleansing Wipes and they are by Global Beauty Care. These are those cheapies that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I use these, like I mentioned in my first video, for cleaning up. So cleaning up fallout, cleaning up my desk area, wiping off the back of my hand that might have concealer or leftover product on it. So that's what I use these for and it's time to finally throw these away. The next product is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I've gone through two bottles of this. I love this setting spray so much. I have stock and stock of this because I love it. It really does help with the longevity of my makeup and I of course would recommend it to you, but it's time to recycle these. I think they are recyclable because they are plastic, but it's time to get rid of them. Last time I did the same thing with this product, but this is the Temp2 and I cut it. This is the Temp2 Mattifying Primer. I am in desperate need of this primer right now because I am on my last bottle and I'm soon ready to cut it open but it is spendy and I have been really pushing it off buying a new bottle but this is hands down in my opinion the best primer on the market for those of you with oily skin like myself I will recommend this until I find something that is better and cheaper but I love love this primer. Last two products that I mentioned previously in my empties video are the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I love this setting powder. Every time I feel like I have texture under my eyes or texture on top of my eyes or texture anywhere that I usually wouldn't have, if I'm not using this, I go back to it because it is such a finely milled translucent setting powder. It has flashback. I'm fully aware of that, but I love this setting powder. It is the best on the market in my opinion. Now I have been trying the Hourglass. Um, this is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder and so far I really like this too so I'll have more information soon on that. They're very comparable I feel but I love this. I've used all of this up and I think I've used another one up too but I threw it out because I already had one in my sort of uh, trash bin to talk about. So love this. And then lastly, this is sort of the last product that I talked about in my other empties video. This is the Beauty Cleanser Solid, the ultimate makeup sponge and brush cleaner. It's exactly what it says it is. It's just a solid sort of piece of soap that sits in here. Mine's sort of gross on the inside. So it just sits in there and you take your beauty blender and you sort of rub it around in the product, get it all lathered up, rinse it in the sink and it's good as new. The scent is very fresh, it's very clean, it's not overpowering and this works like a gem to also clean your brushes. So. I of course would recommend this product to you, especially for those of you that are using beauty blenders on the regular because they do need to be washed daily. So love this. Next we're going to jump in and talk about all the products that I did not mention in my last empties video and in this section of the video I'm actually going to talk about whether or not I'm going to repurchase the product or not because there are some products here that I will not be repurchasing and I'll explain some of that why. I have a lot of products so let's just like dive into this. I've been hoarding a long time all of these empty products so I could talk about them so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I feel like I'm talking really fast so 
let's move it here. First item I have is the Jergens. This is the BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. This is specifically for all light skin tones. I feel like I used to love this product and I really don't use it anymore. I actually used to use this to moisturize my face, which is frightening to me because it's a body cream. It's really, really thick. Jergens lotions are fabulous for the body, so I would recommend this for your body, not for your face. I have repurchased this product because it was on sale, I think, at my local Walmart, just so I have it. I usually use it in the summertime to sort of moisturize my legs or my arms or something like that that might be exposed if I'm wearing a dress or shorts like that. So I have repurchased this. I'd recommend any Jergens product for those of you that have dry skin to sort of lotion up your body. I don't really like lotion that much, so I only use it sparingly if I need to moisturize, so I'd recommend it for that, not for your face, but I have repurchased this. Staying sort of in the lotion realm, I do have this product to talk about as well. This is the Goat's Milk Day Cream Dry and Wrinkle Prone Skin. I received this small trial version of this product, I believe in my Ipsy bag, and it has to have been probably got this about two years ago so it kind of was just sitting in my drawer I did use a lot of this product but at this point the remaining product that's in there is sort of dried and a little bit discolored I remember using this primarily in the winter time when my skin was a little bit drier or if I had any like specific dry patches I get very oily in my t-zone but for the most part I'm pretty dry on the outsides of my face so I remember using it specifically to target the outsides of my face that stay drier. I really did like this product, but unfortunately it did not stand out enough for me to repurchase, but that doesn't mean it's not a good product because I did use pretty much all of this that was in here and it was working really well for me when I had drier skin in the winter time. It just, I'm not going to repurchase it since I use my um, Clinique gel moisturizer, I, dramatically different gel moisturizer. I just use that. That's my tried and true, so I'm not going to repurchase it, but this is an empty for me. Staying in the skincare line, I have these here. This is the Pixie by Petra Skin Treats Glow Tonic To Go. I talked about these toner pads, I believe in my February favorites, and believe it or not, I've gone through all 60 pads of this already. I love this product so freaking much. I am going to continue to repurchase this until it is discontinued, but please, for the love of all things good, do not discontinue this product. I love it, love it, love it so much. This has really upped my skincare game. I say that with a little bit of like regret because I don't want anything to go awry with my skin. So knock on wood, knock on wood, but I love this product. I'd highly recommend it to you. These nice to go pads make it very easy to use. You take one pad out, you sweep it over your face, you throw it out and the rest is history. So I love, love, love these. Now, if you're someone that is looking to reduce the amount of waste that you were sort of putting out into the world, you can get just the liquid glow tonic, which comes in a bottle and you can get reusable. So sort of washable pads to use that with, but these just make it really simple and really easy for me to use quickly in the morning and quickly at night. So love this product, already have repurchased it and would recommend it to anybody, just anybody, just give it a go. It's worth giving it a go. Love this. In addition to that, oh my gosh, I have three, three of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder or a Loose Finishing Powder in the color 10 Fair Light. Oh, I love this product so much. I love it, love it, love it. Just love it. I love it so much. I will continue to repurchase it. Of course, I have already repurchased it because it is a product I use every single day in my makeup routine. I take my beauty blender and I basically dip my beauty blender into this powder and I powder my entire face because I get really oily throughout the day and I work a long day at work. I'm looking to keep my foundation on all day long and this really has helped with the longevity of my makeup. So I would definitely recommend this to you. Not only that, it's literally $6 at Walmart. So it's so, so, so cheap. So I love this, three empty versions of it. Yes, of course, I have repurchased it many, many, many times. In addition to face products, I think this is like the last 
face product I have to talk about. I have the, um, this is the Too Faced, and I know the bottle is cut. This is actually what it looks like, but I cut the top off so I could get all of the product out. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is sort of my empty version of this. I am in the color Snow. This is hands down, in my opinion, the best foundation on the market. It is literally transfer proof, like literally transfer proof. If you have oily skin, you will love this foundation. I love this foundation. I have gone through bottles and bottles of this foundation. I love it so, so, so freaking much. Every time I think I want to try a new foundation because everybody's raving about it, I never like it as much as I like this foundation. This foundation with the Fit Me powder, perfection. Literal perfection. So I recommend the two of them together. I recommend these by themselves. Of course, I'd recommend this. And of course, I've repurchased this. I literally have the world's worst butthole lips right now. The next product that I used, I already did a video on my experience using this, but this is the Crest 3D White No Slip Whitening Strips. This is the 18 Months and Beyond Supreme Flex. This is the professional treatment version of it. I have an entire video talking about this product. Please go check it out. It needs more views and it's just a nice good video to talk about my teeth whitening experience. I have already repurchased this product to uh, sort of maintain my white teeth. So yes, I've repurchased this. Yes, I would recommend it to you. But like I mentioned in that video, please make sure you consult with your dentist before using this product. I am not a dentist. So just make sure you check with a dental professional before purchasing this product. But it is an empty in this array of empties. What else? I've got the uh, travel size. This is the Rave 4X Mega Clima Shield Unscented Hairspray. Love this. This is what I use to set down my eyebrows. I spray a little bit of this on a spoolie and it keeps my brow hairs in place all day long. Also recommend this product for your hair. I, of course, have a signature bun style that I use and I use this hairspray um, to sort of keep the flyaways from coming out. It is a cheapy hairspray and I would recommend it over any other hairspray I've used. It works fabulously. So of course, an empty and something I have already repurchased. Just moving along here, the next product I have is the Completely Bare. This is the Completely Smooth Moisturizing No Bump Shave Gel with aloe vera and jojoba oil. It is a hypoallergenic item. I talked about this in one of my favorites videos when I had filmed over the summer, probably in around around July time, July, August time. And I talked about how much I loved this product. That still holds true. I really do love this product. Now I'm not using it as frequently now because we're sort of in the winter months. Well, I mean, I know we're quickly entering spring, but it's still cold. So I'm not really shaving like my legs as often as I need to when I'm shaving in the summertime, but I definitely would recommend this. It really is a very, very runny gel consistency. It has like little moisture beads in it and it's just great so you can get a really close shave. So I definitely would recommend this to you. I think it's relatively affordable. I do pick this product up at my local Ulta Beauty, but they do sell this at Nordstrom Rack as well. So if you're looking to just try a smaller version of it, you can get a real small trial size for really cheap. They're like five bucks, I think, if you're looking to give it a go. But I definitely have already repurchased this and would recommend it to you. The next product I have are these Stila products here. These are the Stila Got Inked Cushion Eyeliners. I have the color Copper Ink and Garnet Ink. So like a copper color and a red color. And I hate to say this, but I never used these products. So I would not recommend them to you. I don't know if Stila still makes them, to be honest. I picked them up at my local TJ Maxx like a long time ago. I could never get them to work. Every time I played around with them, I couldn't get them to work well enough to use them in a video or use them in life in any way. So anyway, I pulled them out not that long ago and noticed that they are all dried up. So I am throwing them out. So I didn't really use them all up, but they're sort of in my trash 
trash pile and unfortunately I would just not recommend them to you. If you're looking for an eyeliner, there are a ton of fabulous eyeliners on the market. The NYX Vivid Bright eyeliners, they also have the metals version of them I believe, are awesome, very easy to use, very pigmented, very affordable. So unfortunately I would not recommend these to you and I am excited to finally put them in the trash. Next product I have is another product that I sort of pulled out while I was cleaning up. This is the Burt's Bees Lip Gloss and this is in the color, well to be honest, I have literally no idea. This lip gloss is so worn that half the bottle is almost out. It's actually a really fabulous lip gloss. It's sort of like a goldy nudie shade. It's just something that I'll add a little bit of sheen if you put it on top of a lipstick. The only reason I'm not rushing to repurchase this is because I literally have so many other lip glosses that are this exact same color that I don't really need this right now. Literally, if I wanted to pull out how many I have, I have two Tarte ones that are literally the exact color in addition to some other brands that I'm not super familiar with that are sort of sitting here in my little lipstick rounder. So that's the only reason I'm not rushing to repurchase it, but it is a good lip gloss. The scent of it could be better but it is an all natural lip gloss and it's overall relatively affordable I'm just I'm not rushing to repurchase it because I have enough in my stockpile. I have two different brow products to talk about and I feel like I probably got rid of another Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz but I don't know it wasn't in my trash pile so I might have just sort of chucked it not really realizing but the first one is the NYX micro brow pencil in the color chocolate. I am not going to repurchase this and the reason for that is I can't really find a color that I feel like matches my hair and my brow hair is good enough to like look okay but it is very comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. The size of it is exactly the, the same and it's very affordable. So I would recommend this product for those of you that are filling in your brows, just if you can find a color that you like. I just don't particularly like any of the colors. So I am throwing this out, but it is all gone. I did use all of it. The next brow product is the ColourPop Brow Boss, and this is in the color light brown. I talked about this in one of my other videos when I was wearing this product. I am actually wearing this eyebrow pencil today as well. When I initially tried this, I did not like it at all whatsoever. I had the hardest time getting pigmentation from it. I don't know if I've just gotten better at doing my brows or I know what type of pressure to apply, but I ended up sort of grabbing at this again and started using it pretty much every single day until it was all used up. So I did go ahead and repurchase this. It is such an affordable brow pencil. Now I want to sort of preface this with, it does not last as long as the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in my opinion, but it does an excellent job at sort of filling in the brows because it's such a small pencil. Like it's really small. You can precisely draw in your arch the way you want to. Do small strokes in the front so it's very easy to use. It's very affordable. Yes, I would recommend it to you and yes, I did go ahead and repurchase it. Last two products, I promise I'm trying to talk really fast. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the Clinique's High Lengths Mascara. Of course I have repurchased this. I love this mascara so freaking much. This is hands down, in my opinion, the best mascara on the market. It has a very, very unusual wand. I've talked about this on my channel before, but the wand is perfect. You stick it right by your eyelashes and you just blink and it sort of perfectly combs through the brows, lifts them, adds length and volume. It also really doesn't transfer much for me. Usually I have an issue where my mascara starts to transfer up on my upper brow bone area area throughout the day and this really doesn't do that much for me so I love this product of course would recommend it to you yes oh don't ever discontinue this. The final product I have here is the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in the color Trooper Black. Yes, I've repurchased this. This is the only eyeliner that I have found that I genuinely like using that I can do a semi-symmetrical wing with. I am not the best at doing wings. On the regular, I don't wear a lot of winged eyeliner. I do it a lot for filming videos on my channel. I do it sometimes if I'm getting a little bit dressed up. 
but I just, I'm not the best at doing wings, but this liner is, I think, very beginner friendly. The tip of it is very flexible, so you can sort of press and the product just goes exactly where you want it. The longevity of this product is phenomenal. I usually have a hard time getting this off and I do have to sort of break out a, a makeup remover. Usually I use the Lanc Lancome Bifacial Makeup Remover to get this off, so it's very black, it's a felt tip, it's easy to use. I would recommend this product to you. I know that there's drama around Kat Von D, but this product is a good product. Until I find an eyeliner that I like more, I am going to continue to repurchase this, and yes, of course, have repurchased this. <sighs> that is all of the products that I had to talk about in this video. I hope I talked fast enough, but not too fast. If you liked this video, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time with another new video. Bye guys.